Today we're doing something we've wanted to do for quite a long time. The Tabasco Tour here in Louisiana. It's, we're at the Cajun RV rally right now. This isn't part of the rally, but they recommended we come here. So we're really excited to take the tour. We've got Howard and Betty, some longtime friends along with us. So uh, yeah, let's go check it out. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Stacy. I'm Tom, and we're RV Texas, y'all. We are native Texans and full-time RVers who are all about exploring the great state of Texas and beyond one campground at a time. We're on a mission to experience life, not just live it, and we're bringing you along for the fun. In 2018, we sold our house, our business, and got rid of most everything we owned to hit the road and see America. Our home is a 33-foot RV named Freedom. We installed an extreme solar and lithium setup so now we can just about live anywhere with our dog Star and our cat Astro. Every day is a new adventure, so join us as we RV America, y'all. I wonder where we start the tour. Oh, right here, okay. <laughs> you could get a whole barrel of Tabasco for 200 bucks. Oh my gosh. That might last a little while. <laughs> Tabasco was founded in 1868 by Edmund McElhaney. He and his wife returned to this area from New Orleans during or slightly after the Civil War. And this museum where you start tells a lot of history about the family, Avery Island itself, the history of the company. Make sure you see the movies that are scattered throughout the museum. As you begin your tour, you're going to notice these amazing oak trees and these really cool buildings. This is a national historic place and uh, the trees are as much a story as the pepper sauce itself. Uh, one, of the, uh, one of Edmund's sons uh, who worked here also was an adventurer. He was a horticulturist. He was an expert on birds and he brought a lot of different types of animals and not the bears <laughs> but they are there but they are there uh, birds and and different types of trees and stuff here to Avery Island so there's a whole garden area to explore beyond just the factory now we didn't explore much of the gardens we ran out of time so make sure you do that but they do have a bamboo garden here on your way to the greenhouse and that's fascinating because this is where the U.S. Army's 10th Mountain Division got their bamboo for their ski poles during World War II, and we learned about that division during our time in Steamboat Springs, Colorado. Now, the Tabasco Greenhouse, this is really interesting. This is where they are growing different varieties of peppers, and they're kind of experimenting on a few things. But it also tells you the story of how they plant and the fields that they plant in and the small farmers that they work with around the world. The peppers then are harvested, they're turned into mash, they're sent, all of them are sent here to Avery Island, and the next stage is that mash goes into barrels. So there's a whole barrel museum here as well, yeah. which is fascinating. Absolutely, there's a movie in here as well. Make sure you take time to really study this stuff because all of the stories I think were really, really interesting. They even go to the point of restoring and remaking and re-preparing these barrels every time they use them. Just absolutely fascinating. These barrels will be filled. They'll be covered with, with the pepper mash. They'll be covered with a layer of salt to protect them. And they're stacked in this barrel warehouse up to six barrels high for up to three years. Yeah, it's fascinating. It, unbelievable. And here we're going to get a real good look at it. It is crazy. I mean, look at all these barrels of pepper mash. And that is salt that you see on the top. 
then from there they take these after they age them they come in and they test them a McElhaney family member has to approve the mash to be used <laughs> yeah and they take it down to uh, the blending area and that becomes the second half of the tour here and that's where we're going to be going into the blended area here. Right, but it was so cool to just walk around and see all these old buildings that are here. All of the Tabasco sauce is produced here on Avery Island, from the mash all the way through to the bottling. This is the blending room, and let me tell you, when you walk in this building, you know you're at Tabasco. But it smells awesome to me. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. This is where they take that aged pepper mash and they put it into a larger wooden vat. They mix it with vinegar and they stir it for like three weeks. Yeah, right here. Amazing. And boy, I tell you, up here on the top level, there was an area you could smell what was in that room and holy cow <laughs> that was very very strong it was but it was pretty pretty cool uh, they have a whole building that tells you more about the garden area and the history and so many of the employees here still live here on avery island and it is still operated by the mcwaney family So Avery Island isn't an island like most of it would, us would think of. It's actually a salt dome, so it sits up over 100 feet above everything around it. And so part of the experience here is learning about the salt mining that goes in, to this, or that has, has happened historically here on Avery Island. My favorite part of the tour, I think, although I loved it all, yeah. is the bottling line. For sure. Every bottle of Tabasco is bottled here on Avery Island in this room, and you can watch them bottle it, label it, box it up, get it ready for shipping. They now go to over 180 countries and different languages. One of the boxes was being prepared for Germany or one of the shipments. Um, and it was just fascinating. I don't know how long we stood here and watched these guys work. It was quite a while, that's for sure. It's fascinating. And they have multiple lines running at any given time. Now the next stop, you go in and it's more of like they've got some historic bottling, some vintage bottles. They talk more about all the different countries that they ship to and they show you the bottles that go to those different regions. Uh, there's some photo opportunities for Instagram <laughs> and different marketing things that they've done over the years. And as you come out of that building, the tour may be over, but the experience is not. Don't just go back to your car. You got to go into the Tabasco Country Store. Oh, that's for sure. Loved it. Oh my gosh. Everything you could possibly imagine, Tabasco, plus samples. <laughs> for sure. Those were great. We spent a lot of time in this store as well. And, and a lot of money. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well worth it, though. Oh, my gosh. And super nice people here. For sure. And then there's also the restaurant. For the full experience, right next door to the country store is the 1868 restaurant where you can grab a bite to eat while you're here. <laughs> Got some boudin egg rolls and then a sampler. Red beans and rice, gumbo, and etouffee. Yeah, we in Louisiana. Yep, and. Oh, and every type of Tabasco you can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> So the Tabasco factory tour, wow, this has been a bucket list place for me to come for a long time. I'm so glad we finally made it. It was everything I'd hoped it'd be and more. Fantastic factory tour. Uh, Howard and Betty, what did you guys think? I loved it. It was just something that people have always talked about and I just wanted to come here. It's been on my bucket list too, so I'm so excited to come here and. Yeah, we've been meaning to get down here from North Texas for so long, and uh, it's uh, finally 
we made it down here. It's a beautiful day. The tour was great. We got to see everything they were doing. And we even had a chance to have some good food at the restaurant. And we bought everything we could at the store. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and uh, what sauce did you have, Howard, that uh, got knocked you out? Oh. Well, it, it uh, was a scorpion. It was a, some, something that bit me pretty bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm still drinking the water. <laughs> That's a great thing, though. You get to try, after the tour, you go into the country store, and you get to try all of these different sauces and barbecue sauces and chili. We didn't even know oh, they made chili. chili. Two new sauces. Two, two new, new sauces. sauces. They came out today. Yes, they have two new sauces that came out today that they are they're testing here to see if people are going to like it and decide if they're going to sell it. So I liked them both. We bought both. And we got to give our opinion on whether they were going to put them out on the stores or not. Very cool. We got to play a part in yeah. Tabasco. And we have an opinion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. So yeah, this is something you've got to do when you're in this part of Louisiana. It is a, we've spent, gosh, we've been here oh, all yeah. morning. So it opened at nine. We got here about 9.30 I think maybe. So. Yeah. Yeah. And it's now almost one o'clock. So yeah, fantastic way to spend a few hours. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you come back for more. Make sure you hit subscribe so you will be along for more adventures. And until next time, y'all, thanks for joining us, guys. <laughs> Safe travels. And, and happy, happy camping. camping. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs>